Hello, Grandma DC here. Oh, I look like heck. Feel like heck, but guess what? Leslie's here. And Leslie is going to make something called hobo dinner? Yep. Okay, you're learning what this is along with me learning. So I can see we're starting with taters, one of my ultimate fa favorite non-keto items. <laughs> well, uh, vacation isn't over with yet, so it's okay, Liz. Not even going to consider a diet until after vacation. Uh, what's your t-shirt say? We can do what? We can do it. Rosie yes. The oh, it's Rosie the Riveter. I hadn't even noticed that until I have a t-shirt that yeah. says that. I love Rosie the Riveter. My favorite gal. All right. Oh, peppers. And I see she's got fresh onions out of her own garden. Yes. Right. Woohoo. I should have picked peppers out of my garden, but I didn't think about it. Oh, fantastic. That's okay. Peppers is peppers. We'll eat those. And you're going to just hack them all up into little bits. Yep. All right. Well, we hack them into strips, actually. Hack them into strips. Yep. My favorite way to do it. <laughs> so here we are. We've got our peppers getting cut into strips. Aren't they beautiful? We even have a green one. This is going to be very colorful. Mm -hmm. I like that idea. <laughs> and now we're slicing up those taters. About what would you say? Eighth inch thick or so? Not very thick. We're going to make them nice and thin. Why is that, Leslie? We want them to get done at the same time as the peppers. All right. There you go. That's a good reason. Don't cut a thinner. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Leslie just told me her grandma eats raw potato dipped in peanut butter. No, raw onion. Raw onion and peanut butter? Yeah, raw onion and peanut butter. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> At least I'm not the weirdest relative you have. There's just some things that make you feel better about yourself, aren't there? That's one of them for me. Look at this pile of beautiful veg. Gorgeous. And now we're peeling onions. Homegrown onions, I might say, from Leslie's garden. <laughs> she even has yard-long green beans, and I gave her the seeds. Yeah. I can't grow them, but she can. The onions are getting so good to <laughs> Leslie that she's crying. Yep. Oh sure my. Am. These. Oh, it's better, actually. <laughs> I told you it was better. Wow. So I got her a, a bowl of water, had her dip her hands in it because we all know that the onion stuff in it is attracted to water. And that goes up to your eyeballs because it's attracted to your eyeballs, makes your eyeballs sting. So I'll always keep. Cut them under the water, or keep a bowl of water nearby, dip your hands in, and that way your onions won't burn your hands as much. That is crazy. I never knew that. Completely. Isn't it? The weird things you learn as you get older. <laughs> that tears like running down my neck. Oh, yeah, that'll keep the onion juice away from your eyes, too. It'll be attracted to that water also. <laughs> and people will comment below and tell me what the opposite word for hydrophobic is which is attracted to water. Phobic's not attracted to water. What was the one that's hydro to water? Anyway, onion juice is that one because it likes to go to water. Leslie says the things you learn at Grandma DC's house. <coughs> Weird, isn't it? <laughs> no, 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 keep doing it. Just keep going. This is looking so delish. And then we put the whole thing mixed together is fine. Say it's called a hobo dinner for a reason because you know everything's going to be simple, simple, all together, simple, simple. And there's a hamburger involved, right? Yep. All righty. Slide the potatoes over and I'll go get the hamburger. All right. So Leslie was, uh, you know, fighting here with the wrapper, the hermetically sealed hamburger, and she said we don't pre-cook it. That it all just goes right in together. Uh oh, did you rub your eye with a oniony finger? Oh. <laughs> Run water, turn it on. Uh. Get your face down there close, that way it'll pull it out of your eyes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Safety tip of the day don't stick your onion laden finger in your eyeball. <laughs> my hair was in my eye, so then I tried to get my hair out of my eye. And... Then you got onion finger in eye. Oh. Oh my! Well, there's the hamburger for you. Okay, so we've laid out a double thickness 
because I didn't have the thick Reynolds wrap, aluminum foil, I mean. Um, Reynolds wrap is a name brand. <laughs> Jello. And, uh, and tissues. Yeah, I know. Like, you know, Jello gelatin. And Leslie is dividing this hamburger up into some big Mondo balls. Mmm, <laughs> we could patties. go have a hamburger snowball put fight. Our patties. We need some salt. Behind you. Okay. We're going to have some big burgers, so these might take a while to... That's fine. we got time. Hopefully our burgers get done at the same time as everything else. It's so real big. Let's pound them out thin and poke a hole in the middle, they Could say. Could have been smaller, but who wants a small burger? Nobody wants a small boogie. <laughs> we want big burgers. Bob's Big Burger. Salt and pepper to taste. That's right. Take your aggressions out. Punch it. <laughs> Punch it like you mean it. That's it. I love, I love aggressive cooking. That's the way I cook. All right, now that the salted and peppered burgers, they go in the middle? Yep. All right. Put them down like that. And then a layer of taties. Oh, right beside it, on either side. Okay. Potatoes. Onions and peppers. Mm, nice big handful. There we go. All right, now just fold it up. Yep. Got a folding method here. I'm gonna watch. Fold this in. You fold the inside first, mm -hmm. and then the outside. Good idea. This is to try to keep all of the juices help over on that corner there. There we go. In the packet. And you want to try to fold over any holes you see. Okay. And this is why we're doing double. It might be a good idea even if we had thick foil to do double layers too. There you go. Now when we're done with this, we're going to take it out and put it on an open or on top of the grill. It's like a fire or are we going to put it down in the fire? We put it down inside the fire. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. I can't wait to film that. That's going to be interesting. Okay, we have the fire going outside and we're going to make continue making these and then we'll be back when they're all done. Yep. So here we go. We're outside. I still see flames. I'm seeing wood. Looks like we're doing good. We got charcoal and wood in there. Okay. Just drop them in. Look at that boy. Look at that bad boy right on top there. Yeah. He's a big one. <laughs> Woo, yeah, they had all the onions and all the rest over, the leftover potatoes and everything else in it. And there they are. And there's where we leave them for approximately how long do you think? Uh, I'd say maybe 15, 20 minutes. That's all? Not half an hour? Oh, no, I don't think so. Well, let's go 20. Those hamburger patties were big. Yeah, they were, but they cook fast on right on top of the fire. Wow. Maybe that, this one, this one that we uh, threw everything in has three layers on. That might be a... 25, 30 minutes. <laughs> we'll have to pull the other two off. But it's right there on top in the flames, so it yeah. probably will cook fast too. I can't believe that that aluminum foil doesn't uh, burn. Oh no. Aluminum foil, it don't even hardly get hot. Really? Yeah, you can put uh, aluminum foil like in the oven uh -huh. and you can grab it and it won't be hot. I was thinking that it might like just like catch on fire in an open flame and... No, as long it. as you don't, the aluminum foil that's on the things will be hot, but the aluminum foil itself won't be hot. Cool. So like if you bake a baked potato in the oven mm -hmm. and you grab the baked potato, it will be hot. But uh. if you just grab the aluminum foil, it won't be hot. Well, I guess I always grab the whole potato. <laughs> I was not smart. Whew, I cannot wait to try this. Boy, it's a hot day again. Or maybe it's just me. I think we'll be calling the doctor in the morning and saying, hey, can you see me on my last day of vacation just to see why I'm sweating so much? still feel tired all the time. <laughs> Crazy. 
So you're just rotating them in there? Yeah, I will eventually when it's about halfway through. I want to get, especially this big one. About uh -huh. You can tell on this side, the foil's real black and dark that it's getting cooked good. And then I'll flip it over so everything on this side can get cooked. Especially okay. We have had a slight disaster. Do not try this at home. There we go. <laughs> I don't know how to reach down that thing. One of our packets fell down deep inside, and the only way to get to it was take the ring off. <laughs> Leslie's a pro. There she goes, getting that packet turned over. Woohoo! How about the one that fell down deep inside? You gonna be able to get him too? Yes. There we go. All righty. Tell you what, the lady that gave me those uh, Star Wars mittens, bless you, that has come in handy. <laughs> I tell you. Couldn't find any of my other hot pads, and there it is. It's lifesaver. The goats are out. They're having a good time. Hopefully they go back in tonight. Leslie said she'll find somebody who wants goats. Yes, the flowers are way more delicious than the weeds in the backyard. Of course they are. <laughs> She's a pretty little thing, though. The alarm has sounded. Are you take off the thickest one? No. Nope. Ooh. Ooh. And it's on fire. Proof positive aluminum can burn. It was probably the juices. Yeah, yeah, it had some ash on it. You be careful, don't get burned. Now, see, see, this isn't even hot. Yeah, I see that. Look at him over there. Oh, I know. We have been joined by Star, who's eating weeds here in the front yard and wants to be near his grandma. He's a pretty boy, though. He's going to be a beautiful buck. Somebody's missing out on a beautiful buck. Peaky, peaky, peaky. I thought that aluminum foil was cold. <laughs> she doesn't mind me giving her a ration of garbage. Hot, hot. hot. Juices are hot, hot. Oh, I forgot we put two layers. I was like, why am I only seeing a little bit of foil? Ten more minutes. There we go. Well, I don't think that Star is going to need ten more minutes to eat that weed he's on. <laughs> he says, I have found a good weed patch in the front yard here where Pop doesn't mow, and they're all dried up and everything, and they're delicious. Oh, boy. Even Mother's getting in on it. She's managed to find her way. They've knocked out my patch is what they've done. Do not eat my century plant. Oh, that's not a century plant. I forgot what they're called. She's eating my flower over there. Come eat a weed. At least be useful. Right, Moon Moon? Moon says, I'm always out here eating. I can jump over the fence. Hey, Star. How's it going, buddy? You enjoying being out and around? You are bad goats. <laughs> now he says, I'm going to come over there and see if I can knock that fire over, cause some havoc. That's what goats do. There's little Presley. He's going to be such a pretty, pretty little buck. And Lisa. Hi, Lisa. I wish I could keep him just because he's gorgeous. Yeah, but we're going to get rid of the goats, find them good homes, because I'm going to start over when I retire. I just got too much going on right now to take care of them, but they are healthy. What beauties. I will miss them so much. I'll never find it that healthy of goats again without paying out the rear end for them. And I can't even give these guys away. <laughs> Woo! Do you hear? Do you hear the guineas squeaking? They're squeaking at you. Oh boy, Mama. Did you hear them guineas? Might want to get back inside. They're sounding the warning. Better go. Take that beautiful udder of yours and head back home. <laughs> they listen to those guineas. <laughs> well, since we're cooking out front, everyone decided to come out and join in. 
<laughs> Little Presley's down here eating a tree. Well, and of course, there's Moon eating a sapling. Nummy, nummy. I need you guys eating out back, but you're right. The saplings are overgrown out here, so help yourselves. Good job, little Presley. You're getting the lower leaves. Mother says she's found the azalea bush. How delicious. Oh, yeah. So what have you found, Lisa? The wood pile? You're going to eat bark, of all things. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we have achieved doneness. About 45 minutes, I think, all together. And, uh, we have little logs. They're not holding as much heat. Yeah, little logs and big packages of food. Put them on a bigger fire and, uh, less time. But yep. It's a little fire. <laughs> and there Thanks. is Star. He says, let me yeah. check out the... <laughs> he says, I'll eat it. Yeah. I'll eat it. <laughs> He says, that's right, wave those things at me again. That's fun. That's playtime. What are you doing all bristled up? You ain't playing. You were playing with me. You're not going to play with Leslie. That fire, yeah, that's right. That's self-limiting behavior. <laughs> you stick his nose in that fire. <laughs> wag, 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 wag. Oh, waggle, 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 waggle. He says, ah, get her. <laughs> yeah, because we're going to want marshmallows yeah. if we have enough room. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Leslie, thank you so much for this wonderful meal. You're welcome. <laughs> you enjoy. Look oh, at even well. yours looks good too. Well, no doubt about it. This is one of the best meals I've ever tasted. Some of the potatoes have a nice little char on them. The meat is well done, and it is all just cooked together perfectly. Leslie's washing the black off her hands and we are going to chow down. <laughs> Y'all wanted a cooking show. There it is. Not exactly keto, but it's delicious. So like, share, and subscribe if you want to keep up with the insanity. And if you feel like donating so Grandma can keep this channel going, I have a little donation button down in the corner on my home page. You don't have to. But thank you guys who have. It's really, really saved me. So thanks a lot. I love you all. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I've still got a couple of days of vacation left. I think I'll just take care of myself. Forget the lawnmower. Bye-bye. <laughs>